Hey friends! I'm back with another plan with me. This is for October 4th through October 10th. We are fully into October now. I <laughs> you guys have to be tired at this point if you watch all of my planner videos of hearing me go, how is it even possible that we're already so far into the month, into the year, and so on. But um, yeah, this is kind of kind of bonkers. How on earth are we already in the middle of October? We're halfway through spooky season, folks. For this week, I'm using a kit from Beautiful Planning and it's called Pumpkin Fall. I love the colors of this kit. I feel like anytime you see browns and oranges in this capacity, your brain can't help but go, Bing, 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 autumn, 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 autumn. And it's my favorite time of year. So I am just thrilled to have, whoops, all of this autumn all up in my book, especially because in case you don't know, I am a South Floridian. We don't get seasons here. At most, our autumn is like summer junior. So I can only really get fall as far as like my aesthetic will allow because I certainly can't just go outside and go mmm dry crisp air it's fall for sure so it's up to me to create my own fall hence this is a kit from beautiful planning as I mentioned and I have a discount code for you guys for her shop you can use the code mamafriendly15 and get 15% off anything you see in her online store this is Far and away my favorite shop to get printables from. I feel like it's a lot easier than a lot of the other shops I've used to edit the kits and like use the crop method, which I do every single week. I have a tutorial in the description box if you're interested, but the Cliff's Notes version is that you pretty much just pick and choose the stickers that you know you're gonna need. And that way you don't have to print the whole kit because these kits come with like eight or nine pages and I don't need all that. So I don't wanna waste any extra ink or paper than necessary. I'd rather condense everything as much as I can, kind of Tetris it onto as few sheets of paper as possible. Et voila. So let me show you what I'm working with. We have our full boxes up here. And I love that the art that Stephanie chooses for her kits almost always features fuller figured women. Obsessed. Then we also have down here our washi, which is a very pretty like marble situation, super cute. We have our weekend banner and birthday balloons, although I honestly don't know if we have any birthdays this week. So those might be extras, but that's fine. On this next page, very, very busy, we have our date covers with some dates. Our canceled and rescheduled stickers, which this week we are returning to our regular schedule. And so the possibility of using our canceled and rescheduled stickers is back in play. We've got our glitter headers, habit trackers. These YouTube stickers are not from this kit, but they are from Beautiful Planning Shop. So if you like those, you can get those there as well and use that discount code. Down here we have some half boxes and quarter boxes for events and whatnot. Deco, and then this longer full box I'm going to be using in my sidebar. So that is basically all that we're working with this week. And I usually like to start with my bottom washi. So let's go ahead and start there this time as well. No need to rock the boat, right? This is very artistic and very, I don't know, I get like sophisticated vibes from this marbly situation down here on the washi. It's very pretty. I'm gonna put that down. I keep doing that where like the tail end kind of creeps upward. Not so much where it's like blatantly obvious, but enough where it bothers me. However, because it's not super, super obvious, I don't wanna risk ripping the sticker by trying to peel it up and moving it. So we are all gonna just pretend. See, I was about to do it again here, but opposite, I was about to do it super facing down. Let's try our best to not, shall we? And if we do, we'll just pretend it never happened. Okay, that's better. That, that was a good recovery. Weekend banner while we're here. And this is kind of a fun week, <laughs> even though not a whole lot is happening. And even though we're back from our staycation this week. So honestly, the last thing I should be thinking is, ooh, fun, because we're back to the grind this week. But I made it a point to take 
Monday off because Mondays are the absolute freaking worst. So we had all of last week off, but also today because I just can't. <laughs> so we're going back to the situation on the 5th. We have therapies and stuff, 5, 6, 7, 8th. 9th and 10th, of course, are the weekend, but the 11th is my birthday. So I took the 11th off as well because I'm not going to have just come back from a staycation only to have our first Monday back on the grind be my birthday. No, no, no. On my birthday, all I want is to not need to do anything. And so we're taking that day off as well. So we're coming off a 10-day weekend, doing four days worth of work, and then having another three-day weekend. I never really get time off, so I'm doing what I can to milk what I can get. Let's go ahead and put down our sidebar situation here, which, by the way, how fall is this outfit with the duster and the thigh-high boots? Perfection. If I tried to wear something like this and walk outside, I would just break into a full sweat before I even made it to my car. What's next? Oh, our habit trackers. I just realized that this did not print super, or not print, it print just fine. It didn't cut super straight. And that's probably my mistake because I probably did not really take care when I was lining up the paper on the silhouette. It's not so awful where like I have to scrap the page and start over. And actually, now that I'm putting the stickers down, it's barely even noticeable. But I did notice it while the stickers were on here. And you can actually see the little bits of ink that they left behind. So, um, whatever. It's fine. We'll live. Let me see. What do we do now? I'm not sure what I want to use for the anchor. These are both very similar. And so I think I'd like to use one of them just so that I can put the other one on this page and make them very separate. But I'm not sure which. I guess this one, this is kind of cute with like the little stacked pumpkins and all of those big old candles. So we'll put that one right there. Yeah, I kind of like that because the stacked pumpkins kind of looks like the stacked habit trackers here and it's kind of bringing all the colors of the kit together before we kind of Hey, welcome to the week. This is this is all you're about to see right now. So that works out. So I'm going to put down my little dates on my date covers. I'm really loving these colors. I'm pretty sure I said that already. But it's still true. So I'm going to go ahead and say it again. In case you didn't hear me the first eight times. So there's all of our dates. I have all these extras now to use. In case I do what I did a couple weeks ago, which was I printed the wrong dates for a kit, so that will work in case of emergency. But for now, let me just go ahead and put these down. Alrighty, so that's handled. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down my glitter headers. There was a fourth color and I want to say that it was just plain orange, but I thought that these three colors had the best kind of contrast against one another. The orange was too close to the yellow, too close to the burnt red brown here. So I left it out so that these three colors would really pop, you know? Alrighty, very, very nice, super, super cute. The gray especially, I really, really like because I'm used to oranges, browns, yellows in these kits, but I feel like adding a cooler color really makes the whole thing look much more vibrant. It gives life to it, which is interesting because usually you think lively colors, you think of things like orange and yellow, but playing against the gray, everything else kind of 
shines more, right? Or am I being just super philosophical about planner stickers? Because I could do that. So I mean, feel free to let me know I'm full of crap. But yeah, I really like all these colors together. I'm gonna go ahead and put down my full boxes now. I forgot what those were called. I do have two fashion girls, so I wanna make sure to like space them out accordingly. These are actually the same art. It's the same girl, but this is with a different hair color and I did that on purpose so that they wouldn't look too matchy-matchy. But all the same, I'm going to exile this one all the way over here so that there's as much distance as possible between her and her twin sister. And then this goddess is gonna go, let me see. I mean, I could put her either day, really. It's the same amount of space. So I guess, let me put her down here. So we create a lot of space from this one laterally, but a lot of space from this one vertically or diagonally, I guess. And then everybody else can kind of just go wherever, I suppose. We'll put this very cozy sticker right there. Right there. We've got this fun little like pumpkin smorgasbord situation. I guess we'll put that here. Ooh, did I leave a space? That's No, actually that's not a space. That's the sticker that's like that, so that's fine. We'll put this adorable coffee situation, which I actually recognize that bottle is meant to be pumpkin Califia cold brew. Very, very delicious non-dairy coffee. So I'm gonna put that right there on Saturday. And then this guy will put all the way down here because I forgot that this art was so similar to the anchor picture. I would have liked to have put this farther away, but that's okay. We'll put this one right there. Lovely. Wait, is that space? Yeah, that's kind of a lot of space. Let me try. Oh, I'm going to regret this. Let's not. Let's not. Positive. I will not regret this. This will be great. I'm very excited and happy that I decided to peel this sticker up. There you go. See? Positive vibes. Perfect. So the last thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and put down my upload schedule because there aren't any birthdays this week that I'm going to put stickers down for. So today you are getting this plan with me. Oh, I can't believe it's the last day of staycation. Womp womp. On Tuesday... You're gonna get a recipe video, and this was just kind of me messing around with ingredients I already had on hand. And turns out I made a pretty yummy uh, banana muffin recipe. So you're gonna see that on Tuesday. On Thursday, I'm actually hosting a collab. It's been a long time since I've hosted one. It's gonna be a Croctober collab. So me and my friends are gonna be sharing crock pot recipes or slow cooker recipes. So that'll be on Thursday. Friday, there's going to be another collab. This one's hosted by Tiffany at Small Town 6. We've been doing monthly like food challenges. And this month we're doing fall veggies. So that's gonna be happening on Friday. And then finally on Saturday, you're getting a vlog. It's been a long time. Y'all haven't seen a vlog for two whole weeks actually. On the 9th will be two weeks since the last vlog I put out. So I'll put that last episode up here in case you kind of want to catch up before Saturdays. But Saturday's vlog is going to be my first one back from staycation. So it's actually going to span my last day of staycation and the first couple days kind of back on the grind. So Keep your eyes peeled for all that. If there's anything else that I'm posting this week that sounds good to you, by all means, please come back, check it out. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Share my videos with your friends. That's free too. And all of those things are very easy for you, very fast for you, and they help out my channel loads. I'd love to know what you guys are up to this week. Is there anything special or exciting that you're looking forward to in the next few days? Let me know all about it in the comments. And as always, I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!